about networking when it comes to the music industry. First thing with networking is you have to just get in it and do it. Okay. And um, the thing is, there are plenty of networking events out there. Um, some of them free, some of them uh, ones that you pay for. Now, when, you, when you're at sort of networking events, <coughs> you, you have to say hello to people. It's a bit weird if you don't. You know, if you turn up with a friend and you're just talking to your friend the whole evening, it's a bit strange. When I got my job at People Sound, um, I the reason I got that job at People Sound was because I had quite a heavy contacts bu uh, book. So basically, I was bought for my contacts list. And I, um, the way that I, I had a round robin interview with five people, and I was offered the job on the spot with five grand on top of what I was already being paid at a previous job. Okay, so it's all about it's all the people that you know and how you know them. One thing I would say is that you may have those contacts, but don't let those contacts go stale. You know, do little things that keep them informed. And also the other thing as well is um, being in control of your online presence as well. So making sure that you're blogging, that you're on Twitter, and you have a, a nice, neat and tidy profile on Facebook. It really is important to try and track people down and find them and doorstep them and can I, can I take you out for a coffee, can I show you my portfolio, have you got five minutes? It's, it's just a case of putting yourself out there and just dealing with, I think, just dealing with that tiny little bit of pain of that little bit of awkwardness when you first start and then after a while you just get into a rhythm of doing it and you, you find your own way of building rapport. Okay, well, the, the events that I'm aware, uh, I know with all the ones <laughs> that are in, in London, um, Mainly, I, I was a case of looking in your trade press and talking to other people. Again, you know, if you have anybody that you already know in the industry or, you know, you talk to other people, finding out just through word of mouth where people are um, and where people are going to meet new people and, and contacts. If you look at some of these conferences, it might, might be a £1,000 a day for the delegate to attend. Ring up the organiser and say, I'm a student, I can't afford to, but I really would love to come. Um, and if there are any spare places that you're offering to students at the last minute, <clears> then I'm your person. Just give me a call and I'll be down there. And the other thing is, ring up some of the speakers at those conferences and say, can I come in and carry your bags for you? And you'll come in as their assistant and help them get the water and run around for them. And that's another great opportunity. But think creatively about how to get from A to B, as I said earlier. Um, I think there's sort of three levels of engagement. Um, there's the kind of the industry side of things, which is, you know, I mean, LinkedIn, there's like interest groups you can join, you know, there's certain, if you have certain interests, and then they'll, you know, they'll feed you information about things that are going on. Um, I think there's a, a, a social level of engagement. I mean, getting into, involved with the music industry in Manchester, I don't know how you do it in London, actually, although I'm from London, I just find the place so enormous that I don't, I don't know where you start, but in Manchester, just by putting yourself in the right places, you could bump into everyone you need to know pretty quickly. It's like six degrees of separation in Manchester is about two from you to anybody you need to meet.